Hydrin and Sistrin. This is Rastash beaming out to you on the magic waves of rhythm with peace and love in the heartland of Babylon. Yes, the voice of musical liberation. This is Radio Runnings at the forefront of the nation. No, Tosh is the shortage for Toshiba. And that's my handle, so hold on, baby. Because I am not going to bring you hardage musically from my chalice of palace. Now, today's little openage is a little message on high. So give it some checkage. Buy the man called gay, but don't take it the wrong way. It's Brother Marvin. <laughs> Why can't we all live together? <laughs> What you want? This is really your runnings, you know, not no Yamaha motorbike factory. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're no Barry Sheen either, worse luck. Look, can I borrow your what's it? My well, what's it? Yeah, you know, you're, you're two things with one thing. Oh, I need it for the battery, right? Oh, you mean the, you mean the adapter? Yeah, how'd you guess? All levels, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's the matter with you? Someone jamming your VHF? It's that race course, Terry. She take up too much spearsage. Come and take up my room just because mummy left some note to say how she could have their bedroom. Look, I am a man with a whole heap of equipment and notes. Notes? <laughs> so what does you say? Oh, it's just a mum. Go carefully along the road, darling, because men don't like women who are too fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what does your note say? Dear Toshiba, don't get your wires crossed or blow any fuses, darling, when things get rough. Because life is full of shocks. <laughs> time. It's dinner time. Stop it, Bellamy. You look like one of your animals. <laughs> it smells like apple fritters with nut cutlets dipped in honey and live yogurt. Well, it isn't. What is it then? It's fish mm. and rice. And if you keep up that foolishness, you can open the tin of baked beans. Hold on, we've got to wait for Terry. This is still a proper family, My you know. Work, gosh. But and you can go and wash that grease 2000 off your face, otherwise no food, I'm not having it. All right, all right, Mrs. Thatcher. Not in my house. <laughs> there's a bathroom upstairs, so see, go and use it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, darlings, but I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know if this outfit was right for the Ritz. <laughs> well, it may not be right for the Ritz, but it goes with what we're eating, so say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they played tennis at the Ritz. Well, it's certainly beyond belief. <laughs> My agent is inspecting me there for cocktails. I am one of his top, top models. models. Yeah. <laughs> Model railway, that is. <laughs> As I was saying, we models have to be seen in all the right places. By whom? Short sighted men? <laughs> there you go. Please, it's a baby. All right, Sissy. All right. Hey, so what happened to the chips? Oh, I don't like chips. Greasy. May we partake in the fine culinary masterpiece now? No, now before we eat, I'd just like to say that. Oh, bitch. come on! I'm oh, yeah. say, let her continue because we'll be here all night. As I was saying, now that Mummy and Daddy have gone, and Mummy's left me a note saying that I was to wash, cook, clean, and look after you all. Now I don't want to sound too bossy, but I really do think that that entitles me. Entitle to... what? I get a note as well. I got one and all. Speaking of notes, mine says I should get the respect due to me as the eldest. Who is this? You're just trying to pull a skunk. <laughs> and, what is, and what is that, Haile Selassie? No, Haile Sin. <laughs> what did your note say, Bellamy? I didn't get a note, right? <laughs> oh, come on, Bellamy. Cheer up. We all have to be grown up about these things. <laughs> We've got cake afterwards. He's <laughs> going into the garden shed. Who? The creature. He'll frighten my animals. Who is he? he must be one of Terry's man friends. Well, get him out of our garden. It's all right. I'll sort him out. It's my sticks. I'll deal with well, it, right? take a prong, Bellamy. No, take a wooden steak. Yeah, take a little piece of garlic. <laughs> Yes, exactly as I thought. <laughs> 
Oh, yes, very good, very good, yes, splendid. Oi! Excellent, excellent, yes. Oi! Oh, yes, Who yes. are you? What do you want? This is the ticket. Oh, yes. What are you doing here? It's been marvellous, this is wonderful. Hey, you can't mess about here, you know. This is a private house. What? Oh! Ah, yes, my uh, dear fellow, what can I do for you? Do for me? I live here, man. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> now, what is going on? Look, look, what do you want? I'm busy. Are you from the council or something? The Supreme Council. Well, we deal with the Wilsden Council. <laughs> look, do you know where you are? Man, I live here. This is my house. No, 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 no. I mean, where you are. I mean, do you know what you're standing on? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, not this. this. No, I mean what you are standing on. Grass, man. Oh, no, 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 no. My dear fellow, come and look at this. You see, come here. See? Come here. This is it. Look, see. Here we are. Now, this is the spot. You see, this is the coterminus of the road from Bath. Huh? This? And this line here is the last battlement of Londinium. Don't you get it? No. Oh. <laughs> Modern education. Look, my dear man, it's perfectly obvious. Oh, sorry, let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Dangerfield from the Department of Field Archaeology, specialising in the retrieval of ancient Roman ruins buried between the dates of 56 BC and 53 AD. Pass. <laughs> yes, and uh, my latest investigations show that we are now standing on the site of the Londinium villa of Maximus Negritus, the last Roman governor of Wilsdon Green. Yes, yes, yes right here. <laughs> you mean there's... There's things buried under here. <laughs> Doesn't X always mark the spot, eh? <laughs> there. <laughs> what? You mean, you mean there's gold and jewels and <laughs> and, and giblets? <laughs> goblets, <laughs> goblets, yes. <laughs> we must, uh, we must commence excavations immediately before the monsoons. Monsoon. Yes, the rains, my dear fellow, the rains. What is, <laughs> what excavation? Dig it, dig it! Dig it? Good. <laughs> here, come on. Not in front of this little shed here. No, 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 you can't. We have to get Angel's permission. Right? <laughs> you speak with angels? No, man, she's my sister. We have to get everybody's permission. Well, go and get it, then go and get it. I'll set up my equipment. Who is he, Bellamy? What does he want? Did you tell him to clear off? We don't want no Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Never send a boy to do a man's job. Bet we couldn't even clear him through it. <laughs> he says there's gold what? and jewels underneath what? the daffodils. What? Who is he? I always knew there was something underneath that garden. He's a real professor. He studies things just like me. What are you talking about, Bellamy? What is he doing in our garden? Not much. He just want to dig it. Dig it? <laughs> I could do with some new jewelry. Well, somebody please tell me what's going on. The Romans, they were here before us. How oh, no, long they were. It was white people, Mr. and Mrs. Patterson. Before that, <laughs> stupid. It was Maximus Negritus. Oh. Negritus, that means black people, you know. And you had rather blood in the somewhere. Heritage, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got Toshiba. It's all about it. We've got your permission. Permission, my foot. You know, he's right. I'll be famous. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Bambinis and mustache. I've got a champagne cocktail waiting for me. Ciao. <laughs> Look, if the garden's dug up, where do I park my bike? Oh, how Philistine can you get? <laughs> Here we are, about to discover our roots, unfold the pages of history, tear back the veil of obscuritanism. <laughs> Think about is where she will park her motorbike. <laughs> oh, mighty Caesar, <laughs> dost thou lie so low? Tell them, Bellamy, tell them. If somebody doesn't get him out of our garden, I'm, I'm gonna 